so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're going on a nature walk in a beautiful park. <laughs> and I brought my camera. <laughs> my camera has my two favorite colors, orange and blue. <laughs> hey, why don't you and I take pictures of all the amazing things we see on our nature walk? Hmm, what do you think we'll see? Maybe some bugs? <laughs> or some animals? <laughs> and I bet we'll see some plants. Keep your eyes open and we can take lots of pictures to add to my picture album. <laughs> okay, keep your eyes open. Come on. There are so many amazing things here. Oh, I think I see another animal. <laughs> it was a squirrel. Do you see the squirrel? Hmm, they're very fast and very tiny. Keep your eyes open. Hmm. Oh, maybe the squirrel ran up in a tree <laughs> where it has all of its acorns. <laughs> so silly. Hmm, well, keep your eyes open for it. Where'd you go, little buddy? <gasps> wow! It's a dinosaur! So cool! Whoa! Hey! Looks like you're having a delicious lunch of leaves! Yum! Okay, see you later! <laughs> Dinosaurs are so amazing! Wonder if he's still here. <laughs> Let's see. I'll take a picture with my camera. Hmm. What's this? Human feet? That's park ranger feet, to be exact. Park rangers? Hi, I'm Blippi. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Blippi. I'm park ranger Orson. This is park ranger Asher, park ranger Wyatt. <laughs> Hi, um, why were you hiding? Well, it was the strangest thing. I was just on a nature walk, taking pictures, <laughs> and then I saw the biggest, most giant-tastic, bigger than an excavator, dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. But it's always awesome. <laughs> um, where am I? Well, we're in T-Rex Ranch, a very special place with lots of dinosaurs inside. And it's our job as park rangers to keep them safe. T-Rex Ranch? That is awesome! I can't wait to see even more dinosaurs. They can be so big! <laughs> yeah, when they're babies, they're pretty small, but not too small. <laughs> I can't wait to see a baby dinosaur. I bet they're so cute. <laughs> well, you can see for yourself. We got four babies back at Dino HQ. Like any proud dad, I've got pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing real baby dinosaurs. <laughs> that's our baby Triceratops. <laughs> and that's our baby T-Rex. And that's our baby Para... Para... Perseralophus. Oh. <laughs> you guys are good at that name. Why, thank you. And finally, that's our baby Brachiosaurus. Ah. <laughs> Hey, Blippi, do you want to see more big dinos around T-Rex Ranch? <laughs> can we take the T-Rex one? Yeah, can we? Mm, sure, why not? <laughs> Come on. Hmm. What's the T-Rex one? <laughs> Whoa! So this is the T-Rex one? Yep. It's a UTV, a utility task vehicle. This allows us to transport personnel and cargo all throughout T-Rex Ranch. Whoa, it is so cool. <laughs> Can we hop inside? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to buckle up, Puppy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these sides can get a little bumpy. Actually, a lot bumpy. Are you ready? 
All right. Whoa. <laughs> so excited. Here we go. A dino with a really long neck. Hey, wait, he looks familiar. <laughs> That's the big guy I saw from earlier. That's a Brachiosaurus. But don't worry, he's friendly. And he's an herbivore, which means he only eats vegetables. <laughs> I love vegetables. A real Brachiosaurus. So cool. Hello, Mr. Brachiosaurus. Oh, and I believe one of our pteranodons has come to say hello. Oh, awesome! <laughs> I thought only birds could fly. Birds are related to dinosaurs. Wow, I'm learning so much today. <laughs> We're just getting started. Dinosaurs, she's another plant eater. Oh, it's so silly. I like you, Stegosaurus. You're my new friend. <laughs> Can we see some other dinosaurs? Yeah, what about the big guy? Yeah, the big guy. <laughs> All right, but only if we stay inside the T-Rex one. <laughs> I don't know who this big guy is, but I sure am excited to find out. <laughs> dinosaurs are so amazing. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. This is where some of our biggest, most ferocious dinosaurs live. If you look carefully, sometimes you can see them walking through the trees. Maybe they're sleeping today? What was that? Tyrannosaurus Rex. King of the dinosaurs. And that's a raptor. They're small, but fast. Is it okay that we're this close? Yeah, yeah, we should be fine as long as we don't upset them. Okay, say cheese. I think we just upset them. understand what dinosaurs are saying. Yes, Park Ranger Asher? Alexa, translate Dino Wars. Translating. Photo, photo. Sounds to me like the T-Rex and Raptor want to see the photo you took of them, Blippi. <laughs> oh, okay. Here you go. <laughs> We all buckled up and ready? Yeah. Let's go. Wow, that was great. Thanks for showing me around T-Rex Ranch. <laughs> Our pleasure, Purple. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to meet you. Ooh, yeah, and there's still one picture I'd like to add to my photo collection. One of me and my new friends, the T-Rex Ranch Parker Rangers. <laughs> okay. Say cheese! <laughs> yeah! I had such a fun day today here at T-Rex Ranch. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. 
E L I P P I Philippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Philippi, and today we're here at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. <laughs> Can you guess what animal I'm pretending to be? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They like to waddle. And they live in the snow. <laughs> Good job! A penguin! <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be at the zoo because today we get to see all kinds of animals. Let's go! Whoa! I am so excited because we're going up in the sky on the Sky Fari. Whoa! Hello down there! <laughs> we're so high up in the air! Whoa! Do you have a favorite animal? <laughs> I like that animal too. Animals are amazing. They're so smart <laughs> and so cool to watch. I love learning about them, especially learning about conservation. <laughs> yeah, conservation is really important so we can take care of the animals. And that way they can be around for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals, I see some right down here. It is so fun being up in the sky. You can see so many animals from up here. Hmm. And a lot of different plants. <laughs> yeah, it's really important for animals to have all types of plants. Yeah, where an animal lives, that's called its habitat. <laughs> and if you take really good care of an animal's habitat, then the animal will stay nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I want you to meet one of my good friends. Her name is Lisa, and she's a wildlife care specialist. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi, welcome. <laughs> I am so excited to see some amazing animals, but I had a question. What is that? What is conservation? Oh my, conservation is so important. <laughs> It's how we save the animals that live on our planet, the places they live, and we can help them right here from our own homes. Oh, it sounds like conservation is really important. <laughs> well, I had another question. Lisa, what's your favorite part about being a wildlife care specialist? <laughs> well, you can guess it's the animals. I love working with the animals. There are so many different kinds I didn't even know. <laughs> and they're very special, each and every one. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds so amazing. Hey, can we see some animals now? We certainly can. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals we're gonna see. Hmm. This is Peanut. She is a beaver. <laughs> Whoa, hello, Peanut. That is an amazing beaver. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. I'm going to pet it right here on her hips, if you like. Whoa. What does that feel like? It's so soft. <laughs> yeah. Is it dry? Mm, it's a little bit wet. Good, because she's a water animal. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. Can, can Peanut swim really fast? Very fast, and she's very strong, and those teeth are used to gnaw on wood, <laughs> chew the bits. Whoa. <laughs> and now, let's feed her some lettuce. Hey, Peanut. <laughs> mm. I want the crunchy part. Do you want a crunchy piece of lettuce? Oh. Ooh, I bet you'll like a carrot. As long Ooh. as it's not a oh. peanut, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. Whoa, peanuts holding on to the carrot and munching it. It's so crunchy. Whoa. And she uses those hands. <laughs> Whoa. And her nose is so big. Mm. Here you go. <laughs> Look at how much bigger her back feet are than her front feet. Whoa, her back feet are so big. Come take a look. Yeah. Where's my, See where's my ferret? Come on up here. Yeah. Little front hands and paws and a really big back foot. Oh. And look over here. Peanut has a really big tail. Whoa. <laughs> look at her. Got a really big tail and some really big feet. <laughs> She's so cute. I love some cool animals like Peanut. What do you think that tail is used for? Hmm, I don't know. Do you know what the tail would be used for? Swimming. 
swimming. Huh, that makes sense. Because Peanut is a water animal, her tail helps her swim really fast. <laughs> wow, Peanut is so amazing. <laughs> well, Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> thanks, Peanut. Well, you gotta get back to the water, so <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hmm, I wonder what this next animal we're gonna see is gonna be. <laughs> it's a bird. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird it is. <laughs> Let's ask. Whoa. Hi, Bobby. Hi. What kind of animal is this? So Taylor is called a yellow nate Amazon. He gets the name yellow nate because he's got that big patch of yellow on the back of his neck. <laughs> Whoa, do you see? Huh. My favorite colors are blue and orange, but it looks like Taylor? <laughs> yeah, Taylor, the bird. He likes green and yellow. Is that funny? Is that funny? Hello. 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 I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow, Taylor can talk? He can mimic what he hears, so he's not actually talking, but mm. it's pretty close. Wow. Right? Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> no, not today. Is that sad? <laughs> oh, it's not sad at all. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Well, what else can Taylor say? So Taylor likes to mimic the sounds of other animals the best, since he lives here at the zoo. Do you want to show them how your kitty cat? <laughs> Good. Uh, so let's go bigger and louder on this one. You want to go bigger and louder? How about your tiger? Yeah. Whoa, that's a better tiger, tiger than me. <laughs> but his favorite thing in the whole world is to scream. <laughs> he loves to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Taylor, do you want to show them some more cool stuff? Yeah? You want to show them how you warm up? Yeah, it's important to wing up and to warm up before you start singing anything. <laughs> that's amazing. Taylor likes to sing. And I like to sing. <laughs> Whoa! You want to sing a song for them today? I'll be your backup dancer. We'll be your backup dancers, okay? Here we go. We're going to go with this. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It that is a lot of fun. Amazing. Thank you, Taylor, for performing for us. You are so welcome. Tell everybody else a goodbye. I love you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, I love you too, Taylor. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right, we'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Hmm, it's really bumpy, kind of rocky. This is a termite mound. Hmm, but I wonder why it's here. Hey, maybe Lisa knows. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Libby. Why is there a termite mound here? Well, Bobby is going to introduce you to Zola, our aardvark, who eats termites. Whoa. <laughs> an aardvark? <laughs> Whoa! Look at this. It's an aardvark. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Whoa! Hi. Hello. So this is Zola, and Zola is an aardvark. They're found out in Africa. Whoa, Zola has a really, really cool nose. Yeah, she has a really cool nose and a really cool tongue. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like too. Whoa. They get a nice good look. All right, you ready, sweetness? Look, Bobby's showing us how long Zola's tongue is. <laughs> Do you see that? Look, it's this big. Yeah, it is made for breaking into these termite mounds and eating all the termites inside. Wow, that is amazing. Zola, you are so amazing. <laughs> she is a pretty amazing animal. Yep, that's my pup, that's There you go. Wow, and Zola has really big ears, too. She has really big ears, so she has a really good sense of hearing, a really big nose, really good sense of smell, really big eyes, but you know what? Not a great sense of vision, because they are a nocturnal species, and they spend a lot of time underground anyway. Whoa, did you hear that? Zola is nocturnal. <laughs> yeah, that means they're awake at nighttime. Whoa, that's pretty silly. Hey, look. It looks like Zola's still really hungry. <laughs> yeah, she's always hungry for these termites, and we're gonna see if she can show you exactly what it would look like in Africa if she were to find a termite mound just like this. Yep, they're right in there. Whoa, look at her. Wow, she's really big and 
looks really strong. Whoa! Yeah, she's really big and really strong. She is 130 pounds of almost all muscle. Hello! <laughs> hey there, Zola! <laughs> Whoa! Looks like she's liking to climb up tall. Yeah, she wants to get you uh, to give her some treats, but instead you want to give her a couple pets on the shoulder here? Yeah. Yeah, what does she feel like? Whoa, she's really soft. <laughs> it kind of feels like hmm, my beard. Yeah, Whoa. a little bit. <laughs> so people say they feel kind of like a pig, which is how they got the name Aardvark, because Aardvark means dirt pig. Oh, oh, <laughs> dirt pig, Aardvark. <laughs> so silly. Wow, and her hands. Are those nails? Those are nails. They are really strong and sharp because in the wild, they would break open termite mounds like this. Whoa, yeah. Do you see her nails? Her fingernails are as long as my fingers. <laughs> Whoa. And that's because she needs to get into those termite mounds to get some tasty treats. That's right. Oh, you are an amazing animal. Mmm, <laughs> that's so yummy. <laughs> wow. Hello. Well, Zola, Zola's my friend now. <laughs> We're just hanging out, eating some mealworms. Whoa. Hey, Zola. Come on over here. Look over here. Come on over here. There you go. Whoa. Very nice. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, they have really big eyes, but their eyesight is not the best because they actually sleep in a burrow underneath the ground. Wow. So they actually use these nice, big, long hairs underneath their eyes to be able to navigate. All these hairs, are those kind of like whiskers? Kind of like whiskers on a cat, yep, exactly. Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Zola is so beautiful. She is pretty cool, right? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you today, Zola. Whoa, <laughs> that was so amazing, meeting Zola the Aardvark. <laughs> hey, hmm, I wonder where Lisa went. Oh. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi. That was so amazing seeing Zola. Wasn't she amazing? <laughs> Were you surprised by that tongue? Yeah, it was so big. <laughs> and sticky. And sticky. Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just... mm. Are we going to meet another animal today? We certainly are. We're not going to meet the fastest animal, but we are going to meet one of the slowest animals. This is Xena. She's our two-toed sloth. Can you, Hello, Xena. <laughs> can you guess why they call them two-toed sloths? Hmm, can you guess why they're called two-toed sloths? Oh, I they're called two-toed sloths because they have one, two toes. <laughs> so silly. Wow. She sleeps during the daytime too and is awake at night so that when she's moving around slowly, she can find the fruits and flowers that are have bloomed during the day. Wow, did, did you hear her? her? Yeah, I'd love to feel her. Oh, she's so soft and gentle. Isn't she? What people don't know about sloths is that they can actually be really good swimmers too. Whoa. I know. They can swim. <laughs> Absolutely. And they eat, here's one of your favorites. So, uh, Zena. Hi, Zena. <laughs> Oh, is that good? So cute. See how she's eating upside down? Sloths do everything upside down. They Whoa. sleep upside down. They eat upside down. <laughs> they even meet friends upside down. Whoa! It's like it's opposite day every day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. That is so amazing. Isn't she? Hey, sloths are awake at night. Do you remember what word we use when an animal is awake at night? Yeah, that means this animal, this sloth, is nocturnal <laughs> and really cute inside. That's right, and slow. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that part. Zena is so slow. She uh. is, <laughs> and showing us her, her best upside down face. Hmm. I oh, think... did you swallow? <gasps> another one. Time to give her another treat. Wow, <laughs> look at those teeth. They're so pointy. Yeah. They look like triangles. That's right, that's nice and sharp to cut through the peels of any of the fruit that she might find in the trees where she lives. Ooh, <laughs> I like to eat fruit, Zena. Fruit is good. Mm, just like a sloth. Fruit is so sweet and crunchy and tasty. <laughs> ah, indeed, and she loves them all. Mm. Well, it was so nice to meet you, Zena. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Slowly. I'll see you later. Slowly walking away from Xena. <laughs> yeah, 
Hey, Zena. Thank you, Zena. It's I getting a little sleepy. Here. She had a lot of snacks, too. <laughs> wow, we learned about so many amazing animals. Yeah, they were so amazing and wonderful. <laughs> well, I think that's why it's so important to work on conservation. Yeah, we want to conserve the habitats these animals live in and also the animals so that we can see them and see how amazing they are for a really long time. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lisa, for introducing me to so many amazing <laughs> animals <laughs> and for teaching me and my friends about conservation. <laughs> I am so glad that you came because conservation is not only important to me, it's important to all of us. <laughs> so tell a friend. I will. You too. Tell a friend. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Lisa. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>much fun seeing all different kinds of animals with you. So many different kinds here at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. check out where we're at. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and guess what happens here? The world's largest single day sporting event. It's a really, really big race. The Indy 500. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to go inside and see all of those really fast race cars in real life. Hey, do you like to go really fast too? <laughs> Great, me too. Well, let's go and start your engines. about so many different things, like race cars and racetracks and what it takes to be a professional race car driver. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Whoa, but do you know where we are right now? We're on the track. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to be on the actual track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> Whoa, and there's so many cool things here. Come on. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> hey, do you know who that is? It's me. <laughs> they even have my name here. Wow, and look what's under me. A lot of seats. Yeah, this is a really big track, so they have lots of seats so they can have lots of people. 250,000 people. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Wow. This place is so huge. <laughs> I bet a lot of people and a lot of cars will go here. <laughs> wow, it's so big. <laughs> this track is really big and really long. It's two and a half miles. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, two and a half miles. And the drivers do 200 laps. Whew. That means 500 miles? Whoa! Wait a minute. 500 miles? Indy 500? Oh! <laughs> That's why they call it that. <laughs> so silly. Wow! This is so cool. Can you see what's here? Yeah, look. They have different lines drawn on the ground because we're in the pit lane. <laughs> yeah! This is the part of the track where drivers get They can come to the side to get new tires, or more gas and get ready to keep racing. Yeah, and each one of these boxes has a different car and team. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool here. Well, maybe if we get really lucky, we can ride in a real race car. Whoa, and look at this. 
It's a real life race car! And professional race car drivers, Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Blippi. Hey, hey Blippi. Blippi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's really nice to meet you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Is this your race car? Sure is. Whoa, it looks so fast and really cool. And hey, do you notice something? <laughs> you have my name on it. You sure do, man, just for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Can we do it? Yeah, All right. Goodness. let's do it. Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippi. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You Whoa. notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? Whoa. We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. <laughs> Very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. Mm -hmm. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500, and we've got four every time we come in. What? $1,500? <laughs> That's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa. And this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah. We have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let oh. me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Whoa. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how oh. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down, and this is the clutch. So oh. very, very complicated, very, very cool. Um, and it's, it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you wanna know what paddles. else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blip. Here's something I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? Yeah. You don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield and it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks, uh, the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that. So incredibly what? strong. <laughs> the weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head. And as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Whoa, look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I'm so excited to meet the pit crew. Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and Brad. Hey, Hi, nice to meet you, Flippy. Hi, Brad. Nice so to meet you. So, Flippy, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Whoa, whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. 
Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, pick up a new tire, slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa! That was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa! Under five seconds? Woo! <laughs> That's really fast. <laughs> well, you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad, the other Brad, <laughs> help you. Oh, thanks, Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. <laughs> Gloves. Okay, first we want to put on gloves. <laughs> Safety first. Safety. Okay. One glove and two gloves. <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. Whoa! <laughs> That's really heavy. <laughs> I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire, we put it on the race car. <laughs> now, we need to put the wheel nut back on the car. And here we go. Now, we put it back on. There you Ooh, go. There it is. <laughs> nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but <laughs> you just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. What else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. We have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you wanna make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all those G-forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. So you want to make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up. And then push on your forehead and push, push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you, know, you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. So the steering wheel is very heavy. very heavy. It's very difficult to control the car. So you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are yeah. warmed up. So we'll Probably needs surface. really strong arms too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for Whoa. sure. So Whoa. forward, forward, backwards, yeah. 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 Whoa. You can make circles with us too. Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for, for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple, we can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Lunge. Thanks a lunge. Okay, oh, here we go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. Love it. Ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Whoa. There's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags. And what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Clippy? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. Oh, hold the for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution, either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. But then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully <gasps> see this one. I know this flag. 
green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. <laughs> but at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! <laughs> and if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa! The checkered flag? <laughs> That means this is a really important flag. And one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? Ooh, you would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. OK, let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa! This is it! The Borg Warner Trophy in real life! <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936, and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look! There's lots of little faces! <laughs> they're right here! Wow! And they're from so many different years? Hey, look! It has their name, and the year that they won, and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk when he got out of the race. <laughs> but we've, we've kept that as a tradition. And now every single year, the winner gets a glass of milk. Oh, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah. A tradition is something that has been done a really long time and it's important, so we keep doing it. <laughs> Sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk, as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind, but it's kind of cool, it's kind of special. You're at the victory podium, you have a glass of milk. It's almost like you won the race. <gasps> it's almost like I won the race! Flippy wins! <laughs> Time to drink the victory milk! <laughs> Here we go. Like a pro. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing that you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner Trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. <gasps> Whoa! I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner Trophy. A miniature one. <laughs> wow! It is so beautiful has wings on the side, <laughs> and it looks like it's made of actual real silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Whoa, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely, it was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here, and I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> Wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Come on. Look at what we found. <laughs> well, right now we're inside turn one at the garages and it looks like we found a race car. <laughs> Look. Not just a race car, but a race car driver. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast. <laughs> Running, driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have. I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh, four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. Wow, 
all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911? That's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you see? Look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> Hey, what's the second seat for? Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an Indy car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> Well, just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah, look, it's the color green and the color blue, <laughs> dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me? Ride with you in a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> wow, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> I have two bow ties. <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go, come on. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something. Really, really fast. <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again. I think it's time for us to ride. Come on. Let's 
see you at the top! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Whoa! We're up so high! <laughs> Today was awesome! Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and even got to meet some professional race car drivers! <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B L I P P I Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's make money fun! So much to learn about! It'll make you wanna shout Whippy!